Um, and she's going to talk about Desmos Activity Builder entrance tickets. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I teach at a K-12 school, teach mostly a mix of middle and high school. So um, what I'm going to talk about applies, I think, for lots of different grades. Um, I'm going to talk about using entrance tickets, which I switched over to versus using exit tickets, which I think people are more familiar with. And I got this idea from Peg Cagle, so thank you, a few years ago. Um, and I think with what entrance tickets allow me to do is basically capture the same thing that exit tickets do. And basically view into where students are at. How do they feel about their learning? Do they Are they ready to move on and do the next thing? Do they feel really insecure? But also allows me to kind of structure a homework review. And um, the way I do homework is maybe a little different. I want to show the way my, my entrance tickets looks so that you guys can see. And by the way, this is the link to my entrance tickets in Desmos Activity Builder. Feel free to make a copy and then change whatever questions you don't like to put in the questions that you would want to use instead. But these are the questions that I use. And when students come in, I always have just the Desmos code at the front. So when they walk in, um, we're in a one-to-one -one school, so they have laptops. And they immediately get started. Um, the first question is just, what did you learn last class? Kind of gets them connecting what we're about to do with what we did last. So we're on block schedules, so we have long blocks. That means that they haven't had math for at least one or two, or sometimes three or four days. Um, so this is helpful to kind of make that connection. Um, I let students select homework problems, so I do homework a little different. They have to spend a certain amount of time on homework, but they get to choose from different types of questions. And so I found it really helpful to figure out which ones they did so that I can quickly pair students who did similar homework problems so that they have more productive conversations about their homework. Um, I asked them the homework problems they were hardest. So this really helped me make homework review more efficient. Instead of trying to walk around and figure out and try to like connect with every kid and figure out where they're struggling or where they have questions, um, I get a very quick view of, okay, like number four, like seven people have a question on it. Awesome, we'll go over that one. Um, also, which part of homework problems students are really confident about? This allows me to ask the student, hey, would you please put up your work for number four? A lot of kids have a question on it. I see that that one's you're really confident about. I don't have to wait for students to volunteer. Um, I don't have to like try to read their minds. It allows me to kind of have more insights. And I ask them to put a little dot for how they feel about the learning that they did based on last class plus homework. So again, this allows me to kind of think about where do I want to go with today's lesson? Am I, like, is most of the class ready to go? Or are people feeling really, uh, I'm not quite sure about what we did before. Um, and then lastly, because students are still, or actually one more, but students are selecting homework problems, I want them to be reflective about the choices that they made. Um, if they chose just a bunch of kind of basic practice problems and that was pretty easy for them, maybe the next assignment they should really be pushing themselves and trying some more reach. If they chose problems that revealed to them that they didn't know things, should they be following up and doing something different? So kind of building a little bit of reflection time. And then just kind of having them start thinking about what we're going to be doing today. I think it's helpful for students to kind of be invested in that day's lesson by being curious and interested in what we, they think we're going to do next. So the link for the questions is here. Again, feel free to steal, change, whatever works for you. But I found that it takes a few minutes at the beginning of class. Everyone gets started. It's the, it's the routine we use every day. Um, usually, um, students are then paired with students who did the same homework. And then afterwards, I'll do random groups for the rest of the class. So that beginning time of being with other students that they can have a really productive conversation. Go over homework super quick. I've got my homework review time probably down, you know, everything else together, 10 minutes, with like doing this, asking questions in their groups, and maybe discussing one or two questions as a class. Um, so I found it actually really helpful for efficiency. That's it.